All right, let's check out this improper integral in a formal way, but also in an informal way that's maybe a little more realistic for how you apply this stuff. So I have the function 1 over x squared, and I have visualized the area under the curve here. And the question is, if I'm really running off to infinity and adding up area forever off to the right, does this thing get close to the x-axis fast enough to make the area become finite, or is it going to blow up to infinity? So the informal approach to this is to just guess the antiderivative and plug in the limits of integration. Now, one of the numbers is infinity, which is a little bit weird, and we'll see how it turns out. So guess the antiderivative. That's x to the negative 2, so I end up with negative x to the negative 1. And I'm evaluating from 1 to infinity. So I plug in my upper limit. Now, sure, that should be formally written as a, as a limit because infinity is not really a number. But if it doesn't cause any problems, then I think we should do it. So what's 1 divided by infinity? So if I take a finite number and divide by something absolutely extraordinarily huge, I get 0. Seems pretty unambiguous to me. And so I end up with 1 for my answer. All right, what about the formal method? So there are times where we need to use a more formal approach. So I wanted to illustrate how it's done here. Um, so infinity is like a limit, right? So I need to rephrase this in terms of a limit. So what I'm going to do is write the integral with a new parameter up here, t. And then I'm going to say what I'm really doing is taking the limit as t goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to t of 1 over x squared dx. So I have a limit as t goes to infinity of negative 1 over x evaluated from 1 to t. Plug in the limits of integration. Limit as t goes to infinity. My upper limit is negative 1 over t. My lower limit, I subtract that, so I'm going to get a plus sign. And then I plug in the 1 for x. And now I take the limit. And presumably, we know already that the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 over t has to go to 0. So this part dies in the limit, and I get 1.